Howdy and hello folks, my name is Christian Sasser, but you can call me MH4, and ever since the first Pokemon titles debuted, there have been two versions of every generational debut. Red and Blue, Gold and Silver, Ruby and Sapphire, Diamond and Pearl, Black and White, X and Y, Sun and Moon, Scarlet and Violet, you get the point. Even in the realm of sequels and remakes, games like Heart Gold and Soul Silver, Black 2 and White 2, and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are just two separate versions of the same video game. This long-standing tradition at the time of writing has only had one major break in this pattern, not including third versions of the games. So far, the only mainline Pokemon title to have have one version released of it has been Pokemon Legends Arceus. This tradition has permeated the franchise's DNA so heavily that Pokemon Sword and Shield's DLC has two separate purchases tied to it, two separate $30 purchases to get all the content in both versions of the game. So why has this tradition lasted for so long? Money. <coughs> <laughs> it's, it's because of money. Selling two versions means that folks are more likely to double dip, even if they are essentially just buying the same game twice. The Pokemon Company has become very aware of this trend, especially in recent years, because they've started selling two packs of their $60 games with no discount. However, barring money, I'd like to go over the differences in Pokemon versions so I can kind of help explain why I think those versions should just consolidate into one. There's no good reason, in my opinion, why these version differences couldn't just be delegated to player choice rather than being locked behind a paywall, especially since the differences are so negligible. Let's begin. First of all, there's a difference in which Pokemon are available in a given game. This has been there since the start and is sort of to help encourage trading between versions. The differences in Pokemon are usually correspondent with one another, with the version-exclusive Pokemon almost being like version-exclusive counterparts to one another. Take Diamond and Pearl, for example. While in Diamond, you can catch Poochyena and Mistrevis, in Pearl, you can catch Houndour and Murkrow. Additionally, the most obvious Pokemon difference is the legendary box art Pokemon. Going back to Diamond and Pearl, Diamond allows you to catch the legendary Pokemon Dialga, and Pearl allows you to catch the legendary Pokemon Palkia. As a side note, there is usually a third legendary shared between the versions. In Diamond and Pearl's case, we have Giratina. In more recent Pokemon games, there have been a few more differences than just Pokemon availability. In Black and White, and subsequently Black 2 and White 2, there are version-exclusive towns. The Black games allow you to access the Black City, while the White games allow Allow you to access the White Forest. Additionally, some major characters may be swapped out depending on your version of the game, such as the trial captains Kiawe and Malo in Pokemon Sun and Moon, and Clara and Avery, your rivals in the Sword and Shield DLC. So while the games have been getting slightly better in this regard, it still ultimately feels unimportant to the overall game feel. Lastly, I want to talk about some wonky version different stuff that the games have experimented with in the past. Specifically, I want to talk about Black 2 and White 2's key system. Certain keys could be unlocked in each version of the game that would subsequently unlock something else. For example, catching Regirock in Black 2 allows you to catch Registeel, and catching Regirock in White 2 allows you to catch Regice, and the only way to get the opposite game's key is by trading with the opposite game. While I can definitely respect the effort put in to make this feel like a genuinely fun and unique version difference, in the end it just ends up feeling odd and arbitrary. To close, I'd like to once again reiterate that these version differences could be left to player choice. In Sword and Shield's DLC, you choose whether you catch Glastrier or Spectrier, and you can't catch the other one without trading. This sets the precedent that exclusivity can be tailored to the player, making each playthrough unique. Personally, I think this sort of attitude is one that the Pokemon Company should adopt going forward in their games, if not because it's convenient for the consumer, but because nobody likes to sit through the same piece of content twice, only for a few negligible differences. <laughs> it's a huge waste of time. <laughs>